Okay, so in this video I want to discuss how you can run a stepper motor using the micro bit and all in one breakout by board by Kitronic. Um, now, the stepper motors actually come in all different shapes and sizes. This would be one of the larger versions that you can get. I think it's a NEMA motor, NEMA 18. Uh, I might be wrong about the number, but I think it's a NEMA motor, all right. Um, and then you have some of these smaller stepper motors, as you can see here, which is the 28 BGA. Uh, 48 motor which is fairly common um, but in this demonstration I'm just going to run through how we use these larger motors using this breakout board. Now this breakout board itself has the ability to run two of these stepper motors using the motor blocks but to run one stepper motor we need to use two motor blocks each so to run one stepper motor we use motor block one and two and if we wanted to run a second one we use motor block three and four you can see for each of the motor blocks they have two connections so if we have one and two there's four different connecting points and we have four wires coming out of our stepper motor itself so it's going to be nice and simple we're just going to put one of these to each one of these here i'm going to start in the far left hand side here and connect it up to the far left hand side and work my way in connecting each individual wire back um the stepper motor itself on the back it usually gives specifications but as you can see here the step angle on the stepper motor is 1.8 degrees so that means every step that this moves it goes 1.8 degrees so you can divide 360 by 1.8 and find out how many steps there is in a full rotation of this shaft itself um, as well as that that's important to note when you're going into your coding and you're deciding how many steps this is going to take in a clockwise direction or an anti-clockwise direction and now this being a stepper motor itself it does have a fairly strong torque um, so it can be good for a lot of applications um, as well as it's nice and accurate as well because it's counting the steps how far it goes and it can return back to um, the exact same position that it was in it's a very accurate uh, motor to be using so what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our microbit code editor and we're going to put together some simple code just to run this and then we're going to come back to this after, uh, connect up the few different connections and show you it running. Okay, so now that we've moved over to the microbit code editor, what we can do is start off by deleting our on start block because we won't be needing that. We'll be using our forever block. We'll also need an extension because we're using that all-in-one Kitronic board. So we put all in one here. We'll click on our Kitronic robotics board here, which is our all-in-one robotics board. It should give us a new tab here on the left hand side called robotics once we click on that a few more tabs will drop down along here one called servos motors and settings we can go for motors and you can see now we have two more blocks over here one for a stepper for degrees of rotation and a stepper for steps it will take now for this example we'll use the steps so as discussed previously um, the motor we're going to be using, I think, has a, a 1.8 degree step. So you can divide 360 by 1.8, and that's how many steps are uh, used within the motor um, before it goes around a full circle. Um, we also have stepper 1 and 2. Again, as previously discussed, um, stepper 1 will use motor block 1 and 2, and stepper 2 will use motor block 3 and 4. We're going to first of all drive in the forward direction, stepper motor one, and we're going to go, let's say, 100 steps forward. Then what we're going to do is we're going to wait a few seconds. So we'll go on for a pause. We wait two seconds, which is 2000 milliseconds. And then we will put another stepper block here with steps. And we'll go motor one again and we'll go reverse 100 steps. Okay, so now that we have our code, we can upload it to our micro bit. We can insert our micro bit into the breakout board itself and turn on our power. We have each of our connections connected up like we discussed previously. And this should run. So it's traveling our 100 steps, so 1.8 degrees by 100. And it's waiting two seconds and repeating the process. So it's going clockwise, 
then going anti-clockwise and then it's waiting the two seconds and then repeating and repeating now if you wanted to stop at the end of this let's say this rotation here you'd have to put in a second two second wait and so on but it's that simple to get it going and there's actually quite a lot of torque now you can stop it with your fingers but it is fairly tough to do so 